Metabolic syndrome in childhood, one of the consequences of forced sedentary lifestyles due to the stay-at-home during the 2020-2021 pandemic. The metabolic syndrome is defined as a set of metabolic, physiological, biochemical and clinical factors which increase the risk of cardiovascular disease such as hypertension, myocardial infarction, type 2 diabetes, obesity and can lead to death. These factors can be summarized as excess abdominal fat, excess cholesterol, triglycerides and blood glucose, hypertension, insulin resistance and chronic stress. Metabolic syndrome in children and adults is mainly caused by an excess consumption of calories, sugar, salt, saturated fats mainly of animal origin and some vegetable fats, also saturated such as coconut oil and African palm oil, as well as all fats from fried foods such as all junk food and baked goods such as all bakery products. The most common characteristic of the metabolic syndrome in children is abdominal obesity and in Mexico the figure is close to 70% of adults and 45% of children. The metabolic syndrome is also called insulin resistance syndrome. Children wake up with an excess of insulin in the blood and at the same time an excess of glucose in the blood. Now we know that the main cause of insulin resistance is the accumulation of saturated fats in the insulin receptors of almost all organs and all tissues due to a grown diet through the omnivorous model as the official food standard according to the investigations of Dr. Eric Estrada in a sample of 3,000 people with type 2 diabetes made in the University Program of Medicinal Plants of Chapingo and published in 2005 in the Memories of the 5th Latin American Congress of Natural and Traditional Medicine. With the official food standard through the Good Eating Plate in force since 2006 began the epidemic of overweight and obesity in Mexico achieving the first places in the world since 2011, both in obesity in children and adults, and now, since the COVID-19 pandemic, throughout 2020 and the remainder of 2021 with the stay-at-home campaign, Mexican children have had to endure a forced sedentary lifestyle, as well as an increase in the consumption of junk food, mainly soda and potato chips. The Ministry of Health has given some reports that refer to an increase in overweight and obesity in the general population, and despite the campaigns to improve nutrition by pointing out the danger of processed foods with seven seals during the 2020-2021 pandemic, sales of junk food increased, which makes it very easy to predict a greater impact on the health of Mexicans, with increasing rates in the statistics of population with metabolic syndrome, more hypertensive, diabetic and obese people. Consumption of fatty dairy products also increased. Before the coronavirus pandemic, there was already an 80% sedentary lifestyle in Mexico, plus the poor diet promoted by the good eating plate. During the pandemic, the health of adults has also worsened as sedentary lifestyles have increased, as well as tobacco consumption alcohol consumption and stress. Fortunately, the scientific journal Nature informed us on June 2, 2021, the main reason why humans have resisted all pandemics in history and will continue to resist them, because that is the genetic nature of our species. Thanks to our immune system, we are adapted to coexist with any microbe. We have white blood cells, special bone marrow lymphocytes that can manufacture antibodies in the long term, for decades. That is, an infected person will have antibodies, defenses against the coronavirus for a lifetime. Laboratory figures to facilitate the diagnosis of metabolic syndrome. Fasting glucose equal or greater than 100 mg per deciliter. Triglycerides equal or greater than 150 cholesterol equal or greater than 170. Although clinical analysis laboratories still consider for cholesterol equal or greater than 200 mg per deciliter, 
the maximum figure of 170 milligrams per deciliter was proposed by the International Heart Federation at the World Congress in Spain almost two decades ago. Waist diameter at the navel 85 cm for women and 100 cm for men. Abdominal obesity plus two of the altered figures, either glucose, triglycerides, cholesterol and blood pressure equal to or greater than 135-85 mm of mercury. Fatty liver and atherosclerosis are also considered as components of the metabolic syndrome. The current pandemic has shown us that in addition to the fatty liver, the simultaneous presence of animal fat in other vital organs such as the lungs, brain and all cardiac tissue is very common. Most likely, all organs and tissues of the human body are invaded by saturated fats of animal origin, in addition to dietary cholesterol. Since 2015, the National Institute of Pediatrics alerted the Mexican society to the fact that 50% of children seen at the institute have high cholesterol and triglycerides, 30% also have adult type 2 diabetes, 22% of current children have fatty liver and 24% are already hypertensive. These figures have surely warned the current pandemic. Although the fatty liver is the most important vital organ and famous for being the first to detect the deposit of saturated fats inside its cells known as hepatocytes, it is important to know that a diet rich in foods of animal origin and rich in fried and baked vegetable foods, in addition to the liver, those fats will be deposited in all organs and tissues of the body, including the circulatory system. The solution must be comprehensive, a change from an omnivorous diet to a diet as vegetarian as possible and rich in plants of various colors, aerobic physical exercise at least 30 minutes every day, preferably 90 minutes, practicing some technique for stress management such as meditation, yoga, tai chi, qigong, etc. If you have high cholesterol and triglyceride levels, you can supplement your diet with herbal formulas through the Toad Flax Herb developed in our university program, which can be ordered at WhatsApp 595-113-4620.